the Grand Canyon, one of the Earth's nine wonders, wonders of the world. Literally, think of that. You know, it's amazing. investment. Siemens Corporation laid off workers who were making wind turbine parts and put the plant in Iowa and Kansas into what they now call, and they refer to as hibernation. I hibernated in Hawaii. Oh, oh, you know, Iowa for a while, but... What, 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 what? By the way, I'll never forget, I was standing in Washington, a little girl walked up to me, I could see her daddy say, go up and say something to the president. She walked up and she said, Mr. President, would you take care of Bear's ears for me? And I didn't know what she meant when she said it. You take care of Bear's ears for me. Well, we took care of her and we gave her the signing pen. I don't believe you. There's this testimony now where one of your son's former business associates is claiming that you were on speakerphone a lot with them, talking business. Is that what? I've never talked business to anybody. And I, I knew you'd have a lousy question. Well, what do you, it's, why is that a lousy question? Because it's not true. You promised uh, no new drilling on federal land or offshore. Can you tell Gen Z that you haven't broken your promise? Yes, because the courts overruled me. The court said I couldn't do it. I wanted to stop all drilling on the East Coast and the West Coast and in the Gulf. And wages are growing faster than inflation. Let's just think about the compounding effects of this of this recent inflation crisis. Prices are up 16 percent over since Joe Biden took office. For food, they're up 19 percent. For used car prices, up 30 percent. Electricity prices, up 23 percent. Look, the Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal have started to call started to call my plan Bidenomics. Initially, I don't think they meant it with a great deal of respect. <laughs> with all due respect to them. Our plan is working. It's working. Uh, last I looked, 1.62 trillion deficit for the first 10 months of this fiscal year. Unbelievable. And interest on the debt this fiscal year, 10 months in, is already up 15 and a half percent. One five and a half percent. Those numbers alone should make us definitely be paying not only close attention to interest rates, but also how some of the rating agencies many have dismissed. Well, exactly what they may be paying closest attention to. People sometimes say, why are you doing that? Imagine if a long time Roosevelt and telephones came along and said, we're not going to help invest in telephones. Come on, man. I don't know what we're thinking. Dusty, it wasn't easy. People counted you out saying you're past your prime. Hell, I know something about that. <laughs> I know something about that. <laughs> Watch me. I mean, honest to God, that's all I think. Watch me. If you think I don't have the energy level or the mental acuity, then, then you know, that's one thing. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. Oh, I think it could be, but I hope in God that they're, uh, that, look, as uh, I've never seen a time when 
the political coverage, the, the choice Excuse me, from Charlotte, one, and, uh, another line going from in, in Florida down to Tampa. Of oh, Putin's uh, 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 yeah. Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I, I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true international effort to pressure. It's estimated that 200 million people have died probably by the time I finish this talk. You know, the rapidly rising uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know. Uh, I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental, fil- my physical as well as my mental fil- fitness. We choose science over fiction. We choose truth over facts. Hi, Vice President Biden. My name is Navid. Hi. I am from San Mateo, California, and thank you so much for allowing me to participate in this town hall with you. I'm thank right you thinking about that. We're going to have you're going to have travel bans. You're going to not be able to do have have economic intercourse around the world. Go, you know the, you know the thing.